Good morning, everybody. It is Angela with To Restore You, and it is very early on this Sunday morning. And in fact, it's so early. See this lovely cup of gold? Uh, I usually put a scoop of collagen in it, which I did. But before doing so, I put a scoop of wad berry greens in there. So, hmm. It's a little sweet, so if you are someone who <laughs> likes cream in your coffee, you may love uh, a little sweetness and uh, some veggies while you're doing that. So we'll just see how this goes. I am totally winging today, but I wanted to show you how to create these adorable little clips. And they work like this. Let's see. Let's use this. And they're fantastic for embellishments. I've got kind of a mess here. But I'm using them in place of magnets because my magnets didn't come in before I finished this project. And so it's been sitting aside and I decided, huh, that would be cute. So this is how they work. They just simply clip on. I'm going to show you all the tools that you need to make these pretties. So let's set this aside and get started. So let me tell you what you're going to need first. Let's put that little cutie over there. Okay, so you're going to need some ribbon, anything that you have on hand. Let me move my coffee. You're going to want a lighter or some kind of match. And I'll talk about that. You'll want some, I have the best one. These are alligator clips. And I'm gonna tell you why we're making these and how they came about in about 2.5 seconds. And then some baubles, some accessories. So I've just got some um, buttons, some little embellishments I had in my drawer. So here's how this came about. In total confession, I told you guys, I think in pre previous episodes, I've been cleaning out my craft studio. Well, in doing so, I found all of these treasures. Now, let me just tell you a little bit about myself, my first confession, if you will. When I start a project, I don't want it to go without having any of the supplies that I need. So I have always more than I need. And usually the, the um, project is something specific if it's not, um, you know, a, an art at a painting or a journal or whatever. So God only knows in all of the years that I have been doing crafting what I needed all of these supplies for. I do know what some of them I needed them for, but not all of them. So I have got... Um, eye pins galore. I've got gold. I've got sterling. I've got silver. I've got everything. I've got these little cute little, I don't know what they are. Beads, I guess. I guess they're beads. Um, all of this was in my stash and I managed to go down to this huge tote, actually two huge totes, down to mostly this just for these projects. I've got some seed beads and some project that I don't know what I was trying to make. I kind of think it might have been going to be a glass holder or you know, eyeglass holder for somebody. I don't know. Um, this all came, these are all notions from either my sewing, um, jewelry, and um, some floral. So I found all of this. I found these. Um, I found these cute little pieces. Uh, these that I have, oh, these are toggles. And then, um, all of these jump rings, which are going to come in handy, actually. A couple of things I'm not quite sure what they are. They've got tiny little holes in them. If anybody knows, you tell me. And then I think, I don't know what I needed them for. It looks like you squeeze them together to something, but maybe we can use those at some point. And then I had some earring backs, 
I, I don't even know. The only thing I know that I um, actually use, and then these all these charms were in this pack. The only thing that I really know what I used all of these for is um, at a time in my life I used to make um, hair bows and clips when my daughter Demi was really little. And then um, I actually made them as a fundraiser for a 39 mile um, breast cancer walk that we did in North Carolina. So um, I sold those for a while. And then I had all of these pieces of jewelry. Many are from my own. This is one of my favorites and it's actually sterling, but I never wear it. And there's all these cute hearts and it matches this adorable necklace, which look at that bling. That thing is huge. But all of those beads are on there. This is some vintage jewelry. I don't even know where I got that. I've used that, that before. Um, these I used to make, let's see. I think I might have a, one or two. So when Dave and I got married, here they are. I made with wood flowers <clears throat> incorporated with um, all vintage and then some that I had purchased. Um, pieces and I have a whole vase full of these extras that I didn't use in all of the bouquets that I made. So I've got all of those. Um, and then just some other fun things. Let's see, there was one really cute one. I don't know, I got just tons of stuff in here. These are old earrings. But all of this stuff we can use and repurpose. So my goal was, okay, you've got all of this stuff and how can you possibly use it um, in the projects that you're doing now? Because it just sitting there is ridiculous. So there's the one I was talking about. This I've had since, I'm seriously thinking like the 90s. I think I got it when I took a trip to Mexico. Oh. So we've got all kinds of plethora of fun. Now here's my other confession. In an effort to organize this, I decided to make a trip to Walmart. And when I went to Walmart, I bought this wonderful little case. Actually, I bought two of them. Well, I needed uh, I needed the cases. I did not need all of these. This whole row I bought because I just needed them for another project, I thought. Um, all of the rest of it is all stuff that I also already had. But... Um, the whole goal was to not buy more items, and what did I do? I bought more items, and in fact, the only thing that I bought in here, um, are these, some of these beads, because they match some of those flowers, but I got a lot of stuff, and we're gonna play. So, I'm going to quickly show you what we're going to do, and how easy these are to make. So, you can get these, um, at any um, box store. You can get them at like a Sally's beauty supply, whatever. I obviously, um, had bought them in bulk when I was making them for the, the fundraiser. So, um, I have hundreds. I have hundreds of these. I have hundreds of clips, but the clips don't necessarily, um, work that well. So these are so simple and so easy. Anyone can do it. And I'm just going to show you a couple little tricks and how I um, used to make these. So we're just going to start with, let's just start with this piece of ribbon. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you, you might have to do this a couple times, but do you see how that makes a big old mess? So just make sure that you have some kind of lighter or something to seal the ends of your ribbon. And I might have to do this twice because I don't, I'm sure I don't need this much ribbon. And then um, let's use this the chunky one. So there's a couple kinds. There's um, this kind with the two, two prongs. There's this part, this one with the one prong. And then there's also these that are more like rounded. Um, we're not going to use that one today because I haven't figured out what I want to do with those. But all you're going to do is you're going to start with what would be the bottom part of your clip. And um, please note, I don't know if you can see that, there are little tiny holes on either side of this type of clip. There aren't on these, but that's gonna be helpful. In fact, I'm gonna save this one. I'm gonna use this with that lace because it will be easier. So let's just, this is not gonna work exactly. Yeah, here we go. 
we'll just use this. I have another one. All right, so all you're going to do is you're going to put some glue. And now when I made these four, actually, if you're going to use these to make hair ties or bows, you're going to want to make sure that you use a stronger glue because these are going to be in a little itty bitty girl's hair. So you want them not to fall apart. Um, with journaling, the fabric fix works just fine um, because you're not taking it on and off, you know, many, 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 many times. So all you're doing is you're putting that in, oops, inside of there, letting that fall so it dries. You're adhering it to the back and then you're gonna bring it about around and I kind of measure mine so I know I need just a smidge more. And then don't forget to sear the edge. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know if that's really what you do, are doing to it. Um, and then you glue this side. And you bring this around to did. So now you got that, you got that. There you can see it from the side. I hope that this is in. And then you just pull that up, hold it together. And because this is wider than the, than the actual clip, adding a little bit of glue like I did right there is a good idea. So clip it down there. And now I don't think there's much glue that's going to seep out. So you can just let that fall together. If not, what I did, or what I what I do, is to keep them apart, I just put another clip in the middle of it and um, that way they don't glue together. Now, you can leave it like this, but I kinda like to tuck that in. And this, because I'm doing this quickly, it may or may not stick, I don't know. We'll find out. And then you just kind of hold it together like that until it is glued together. But um, we're going to make this one really simple. We'll just say I've got that um, lap book that I just showed you is a birthday lap book. So this might work somewhere in here if I wanted to use that. If not, I will just set it aside for another project. So I am simply going to, let's see, I feel like it needs a little bit of oomph in it. Let's see. Meh. Let's just put this on and see what happens. And then we might add something else, so. I mean, how much simpler can you get? And if you happen to have these on hand, like I do, you're spending zero dollar. So that's lovely. I got a little bit too much glue. It's fine, it will dry clear. We're all good to go. Um, let me see, I have, I think this might be too much. Yeah, I have some birthday little bobbles. Let's see what colors do we have, we could add. I've got to stand up. What do I have in my little bag of tricks? Uh, I don't really see anything that I love that I want. I think I simple is better. I mean, I have tons of different little buttons, but that seems too big. But let's, while I've got these out, here, um, let me show you. This is like a regular button and so to gosh man, I got glue already all over my hands to get those off I just use a wire a snipper and then I just hold it in my hand to make this more flat so that's all you do with those we could try this let's see what happens well the problem is if I do that then when I try to open it it's not gonna work so we're just gonna leave well enough alone and if I decide to add more embellishments later we can do that. So first one done, less than five minutes. Um, the second one we're gonna do, we're gonna use this same 
clip. Same thing, but I'm gonna show you how to add a little charm. And of course I forgot to light the light these up. So we'll just do them. Ah, that's not quite good enough. And you pay attention, like be ready with a cup of water because I another convention, I have to admit, I have had a couple of these that might have been a little flammable-ish in my day of creating these. But as you can see, these were a great project for me to use, make for a fundraiser because they were quick. And uh, as some of you probably know, during that time I was traveling a great deal for work and so I could take these, a little set of supplies, and I could whip these up at night when I was staying in my hotel room and had no children and nothing else to do. So do them sitting by the fire or the television. All right, so there you have it. Now I'm gonna turn this off. Light it up. Now this, because, oh, see what I said? <laughs> This, because it's lace, may seep through. Like, see that? No big deal. I got you covered. What I do is I just use this to get rid of all the excess. I tuck it. And then you can use these to keep them down and then put them together and it separates them and just kind of let them go. I'm going to leave this open for right now until I decide what... I want to do, but we'll use this one for the for the front. And we're going to try this charm. I'm kind of thinking that would look cute, but we want something to dangle. So we have three words. They say love, cherish, and sweet. So we'll just use this one that says sweet. Now here's where it's going to be. Let's see. I'm going to try to zoom in. Let's see. Where am I? I need to stay right here. Okay, so these tiny little findings. Ooh. Okay, um, we're going to pull apart. Now I want there to be um, two of them on there. So this one is really tiny. And so I know you probably can't see that very well, but just know that one I'm going to put on first. And I can't, these are kind of, um, I don't know, textured or something. And so I, they're really hard to see where the opening is. Um, so I basically just put my tool in there and start pulling it apart with the other one. And I usually find out where it's at. And then just crimp it back to, oops. Hold on, hang tight. There we go. And then crimp that back together. I got a piece of whatever was on the back of that little piece of paper. So I'm doing the same with this. Can you see that? Jeez. There we go. The problem is I can't see. So see that was upside down. But it opened up just fine. So I'm going to put this Right on there like that. And now I'm gonna try to find, this could be an epic fail, I don't even know. Actually, I don't want this really in that little hole because I'm gonna put that button on there. So I'm just sticking this through the piece of lace all hear that a little bit better clamp it back together and look how adorable that is all right sweet oh so sweet and then I think I want do I want a little piece of this in here I think I do 
So that is already seared on one end. And I try to do this really with all of my ribbons. Um, just to be safe. And I really apologize. I am trying to do this very quick before I have to get ready for a day at the softball fields with Demi. And then you just put a good amount of glue on there because you don't want it to come off. Gosh, my fingers. Hold on. Oh, son of a biscuit. All right. And I'm just going to let that dry for a while. I really needed something. I don't like to put my finger on top of that because a lot of times I have glue and it gets it all yicky. I'm just going to leave that, that alone. So two down, you can use up your charms if you have lots of charms. I don't have tons, but I had more than I needed and I wasn't using them. They were in a tote somewhere. And we'll do one more. Um, oh, these, this ribbon. Um, I just picked this up the other day. I know people will ask because um, I had two people while I was checking out at Hobby Lobby ask me, where did you find that? Uh, well, in the sewing department, but here it is. And it is absolutely stunning. Like I could see that as a spine to <clears throat> one of my journals. So that was exciting. Uh, let's see. Let's do something. Let's do kind of a, let's do red. So this one's thinner. And so not a bad idea to use um, maybe a thinner ribbon. And you can use fabric too. I have... Um, some scraps of fabric that would be really cute. In fact, I, oh, Angela, um, I have some scraps of fabric that were from that birthday guest book, year in review, that book that I just showed you a little bit ago. And that would be also totally adorable. And hey, I am open if you guys have comments. Tell me what else I could do with these little clippies. Because it would probably take me a year to use them all. I really need to find a, um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the hair clips that like, um, you squeeze them and you usually put like, that's what we would put like big flowers on and such. I've got hundreds of those. I don't, I just don't know how I could use them for junk journals because a they're kind of bulky I mean they might be cute I might be able to use them with like a small like on the front of a journal that could be taken off and then some let's just make it kind of simple and put that on there and I think I'm going to do it just down here Remember, it's early in the morning. I have not given this a lot of thought. <laughs> so we are going very simplistic. I'm not gonna get really super creative today. I just wanted you guys to see how you make those, but how easy is that? Now you've got um, three extra little embellishments and then you can use them anywhere your little hearts desire. So I'm gonna stick this one in here. Now that keeps that together when everything is closed. And just because I love this one and I think it looks very girly, I'm gonna stick this right here at the end of that. Now I can't do that because when I do that, it's not gonna close. I want to use this here somewhere. Maybe we just stick it inside of this for now. Isn't that sweet? Totally precious. Let me zoom back out. Sorry. 
All right, so now you have one more little embellishment using all of the scraps and things you have in, in around your house. And maybe the only thing that you're gonna actually have to get is some alligator clips. So let me tell you in my confessions of a craft junkie, um, we are going to do some more projects with this because I think I have at least two or three more we can get out of here. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to find a way to use um, all of these. And I'll show you what I used. I did try to experiment by making little stick pins. Let's see. And I need that one. And I made this one. I thought this one would be cute, like her little, what do you call those things? But when I put it in there, I didn't like it. So that's not going to work. But what I did do is I was making some of these cute little dresses and coats and purses from um, Inspired by G. Kerr. And I'll tag her because she's fantastic. And so I was like, well, I have a pair of sunglasses. I don't know if you can see that. I have a pair of sunglasses on this little purse. So why not put something else? And so I just stuck that in there and I will show you all how to make those in our next episode. So until then, make sure that you uh, follow, subscribe, share, definitely comment. I love to hear your comments. And uh, if you want to share your, share your work, I would love to see it. Um, either tag me, uh, when you post it somewhere, or you can always join our VIP group uh, to restore you VIP um, group on Facebook as well, or Instagram. You can tag us there too at uh, to restore you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, have a great day and remember to take time to just be. Cheers.